Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be going over a bit of a RuneScape merchant history moment uh, from a couple of years ago. And that is going to be one of the largest Grand Exchange bugs, but it wasn't actually a bug. Now this happened, oh, two and a bit years ago, back in 2015. And I guess technically it was not a bug because there was a clear explanation to why it did end up happening. Uh, but for quite a while people were very confused and couldn't really figure out what happened. Alright guys, so hope you enjoy and let's get started. So back in October of 2015, there were some Reddit posts that were popping up of uh, people buying Elijah's Spirit Shield for an extremely cheap price. Uh, to be more specific, someone bought one for 50k and back then they were worth 850 mil. Now Elijah's are getting more expensive again, I just went and checked. But still, how does something like that happen? Because you would think that uh, a lot of people would have offers in for Ellie's. 50k seems very, very unlikely for it to just literally be the only offer in, especially considering that the GE limit on them is probably 8, so you probably can't sell more than 8 at a time. It's not like someone had hoarded 100 Ellie's, dumped them in, and all the offers completed, and one guy just had it in for 50k and managed to get it. Now, expensive items do occasionally get sold for very cheap, but almost always the root cause of that is uh, a lack of volume for the item so that uh, when the person tries to sell it they sell it for one GP just because they're mad or they just are lazy and don't feel like waiting or they just drop it because it's easier and they expect to have an offer complete that's reasonably close and there just doesn't happen to be an offer in at the time so it goes to this ridiculously cheap offer just by accident. However what makes this case kind of interesting is that Clearly, a lot of people had offers in for more than 50k, yet the offer completed for this guy at 50k. It was even confirmed by a JMod to be genuine and not caused by a bug. Now, the most likely cause of this happening is actually around the same time someone else made a Reddit post of them selling 8 Elijah Spirit Shields in the Grand Exchange in one offer slot. Now, for those who don't know, uh, one GE offer slot can't contain more than max cash in it. You notice if you try to sell something um, for, let's say we put this in for 500 mil, um, it won't let you go past the max cash. So when we put in this fifth one here, it'll say too much money, it doesn't let you make a sell offer. So this guy sold eight Elijah Spirit Shields, so either he had them unnoted, uh, I don't know, popped them in for one GP and then bumped them all up to 8 or maybe he had them in for 800 mil and just kept hitting the minus 5% until this bug went away which would have to be around here okay so 258 times 8 um, so then he hit confirm and they all went through unfortunately no one's gonna buy my bronze daggers but uh, we'll leave it in there for the video and see what happens so with almost any other circumstance by doing this it's gonna find the eight highest offers to complete it with and uh, it'll give you a reasonable amount of gold still. So it'll go scour all the offers in the Grand Exchange and give you the eight best ones. So let's say I go pop this in for one GP. So let's see what happens. So we sell them all and we sold them all for <laughs> okay, 2450. So it went and found the eight best offers in the Grand Exchange. So it looks like the average was about 306, so not a lot. Also, don't worry about why I have 88 of these Bronze Dagger P++'s, I can't remember why. So now where this guy made a big blunder, and it's not really entirely his fault, there probably should be a failsafe to stop people from doing this, is that the Grand Exchange cannot produce more than a max cash stack in the offer slot. The integer values doesn't let it go that high. So we dropped it down to um, an amount that will sell, so it'll be you know, 255, expecting it to still complete eight of the highest offers. However, like I said, since an offer can't go over 2.147, whatever the number is, I had to find a way to allow that to happen because there wasn't a fail safe to stop people from doing this. So what happened is probably sold two of the offers at a regular price. So like 800 mil at the time maybe. So he'll got two offers that sold for the proper price. So that leaves you with another 500 mil-ish for each item. So next up, maybe someone had an offer in for five Ellie's at 100 mil for whatever reason they all go to him. So then that's 500 mil plus uh, 1.6 bill, bring them up to 2100. So now he only has one Elijah and Spirit Shield to sell, but unfortunately since while there are higher offers in, if it allows that offer to complete, it'll put him over max cash stack, so it can't actually complete. So then it goes lower and lower and lower until it finds an offer that is available, 
the only one that'll work is the one that's in for 50k so that guy ends up getting the Elijah spirit shield now would you consider this a bug maybe but I guess generally a bug is considered something that doesn't really have an explanation and you can't figure out why something happened this does seem to have been explained it's an unfortunate way the system works but I'm not sure how they'd get around that I think the easiest way would to just have another warning message or somehow prevent that from happening but uh, like I was saying it's a really uh, rare chance of that happening so I don't think there's actually a huge risk of you putting in your Elijah and Spirit Shields for 1GP. I don't think anyone would actually put in offers anymore uh, for low amounts it's just not super likely. Now obviously the same thing could happen with something like the Twisted Bow. It's really any item that has a lot of value. The Twisted Bow would be even a uh, worse scenario so if someone happened to drop it in for 1GP it can only complete really like one, maybe one, and then it would be dropping the price on each one individually. So anyone out there with a twisted bow, um, probably you should not put it in for 1GP, but if you do, I'll be waiting. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, I always appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.